Oh shit. He knows I'm out. Oh my god, this dude's taking a beating. Finally. Anybody else around me? I want to make sure because those are clearly just badasses. They're a lot tougher now. Which they needed to. Oh. That's awesome. Grab me an eyeball. What is up, everybody? It's Bloodstalker. And we're back with something I did a, probably months ago. And I enjoyed this game. Out of all the space games I've played, and I played a handful of Space Engineers, Perion, Osiris, they all have a different feel to them and a different meaning to them to me. Um, I love Osiris New Dawn because graphically it's beautiful. Gameplay is fun. It's entertaining. It just... Didn't, it doesn't get a good rap for some reason, guys. I don't know. And um, if you guys know why, give me, give me an idea. Now, this is the new update. And this is a big deal because this game came out September 28, 2016. Okay? So you go back to 2016. The game deb debuts. No Man's Sky had been out. You know, people were excited. The whole space game thing, space, space survival games were like big. And um, Osiris comes out, and it did pretty good in the beginning. There weren't a lot of people upset. There were a lot of bugs in it, just like early access games. Um, I don't want to play. See, we've got all these structures here we started building on. I want to start a new character. We're going to create a new avatar. Now, they have unlocked another class. So you don't just have to be a scientist now. You can actually be a ranger. Check them out. They actually look kind of cool. So we're going to play a ranger. I want to make a new character, and that's the whole purpose of it. Do we want to be uni, or do we want to be the Outlanders? Oh, wow, that is white. That is really white. I want to be the Outlanders, because the uni, man, that's... that's. I wonder if they're trying to make a statement there. Because, I mean, at least that's got some color to it, but bam! It's all up in your face. All right, Outlanders it is. I'm not going to go... I kind of go through the customization. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. Oh, yes, right. You got your glow. I'm going to do a red glow. I'm just going to keep it like that. Primary colors. Oh, you can change your primary colors, too. Do I like the green? What about this? See, I said I wasn't going to spend a lot of time on it. I like the black. Let's go black and red. Okay, what about this one being black? And this one. You won't let me be red. Why won't you let me be red? Ooh, that's, <laughs> that's safety. <laughs> what am I talking about? What about that? Okay, what about that? Oh, that looks just identical to the... Yeah, it'd be confusing. I think we're going to go black as primary. Or red. I kind of like that. That It's not really black, but we'll go with that route. Should we? What about that? Wow, that looks like a paintball. Screw it, let's be annoying. And of course, we know who I am. I am Bloodstalker. 101. There we go. So anyway, guys. Um... Starting planet Proetius. Enter universe name. And syndicate. Wow, this is all new. That's one reason why I wanted to do this. And they've already put a hot fix out. I don't know if you saw that pop up down there in the bottom. Alright, so aliens, dangerous. We'll do them kind of casual. Well, we'll do them dangerous. Screw it. Normal, normal. Resource shield. I want to get a little bit more resources just to make it easier. I'm going to just max it out. Screw it. XP will put a little bit more higher rate. Proficiency, a little bit higher rate. Will give us more points because I want to be able to play with stuff. And again, I don't know if I'm going to start another series on this or not. Let's give a little special loot sense. There you go. Structure degrade normal. All right. We're going to do PVE. PVE, I said. PVE. US ping. You or someone else created an awesome new universe to explore. Get in there and to build some stuff. Wow, okay. I hope nobody else can just join me here. Alright. Because that was not my intention. So anyway, this update dropped. Now what did this do? It added the Ranger class like we just talked about. Which is exciting because for the longest... I mean, since September, we've had one class. The Scientist class. And it kind of makes it boring. I mean, there's a lot of cool things you can build in the game. And that, that's a cool aspect. But I wanted something different. Now they've got a new loading system using multi-scenes additive loading. Um, and the way the loads are, the main menu interface looks pretty good. I did multi-patch terrain. Oh, wow, there's my ship. 
a crash landed. But they've added four new grass types, new grass clumping system, new terrain splat system, arches and rock formations, added an AI for the dungeon creatures. I've never been in a dungeon here. Suit breached. Yeah, that's not good. Huh, <laughs> took the words right out of my face, yeah. System restored. There we go. Duct tape myself. Now, there should be like a canister or something around here. There's my pod. We gotta get our stuff. So, it's, it's I mean... System restored. Wow, that new interface. I don't know if I'm a big fan of that. It's kind of cool. That's gonna get noisy and annoying. I don't know why I just take all. Hold on, before we get into this next one, I gotta do it. <laughs> See music master volume. I've got my music completely turned off because when I first originally did this game, voice volume going to get turned down. I got hit for copyright on music, and it was a known issue that still six to eight months after the game comes out happens. So just be prepared for that. Pi, can I not get into this bad boy? Come on, give me it's a resource. We can break that up, but there's I should have another. There it is, inflatable dumb kit. That's what I'm talking about. Pick that up. What's this? Oh, there's our guns, finally. Alright, so we're going to equip these bad boys, because you need these things equipped. Multi-tool will keep out, and their location positioner will keep out. So you start off, I mean, you can start off, basically once you crash land, you got guns. Um, ammo is kind of sparse. you got a small and a couple magazines. Now your pistol is basically, it doesn't run out of ammo, it just recharges. It doesn't do a lot of damage, though, so you got to keep that in mind. Now, the cool thing is you can actually harvest this. I used to be able to, yeah, you should be able to harvest it still, I think. Or can you? Is that still a thing? Doesn't look like it's harvesting it. Maybe we can harvest this for sure. Yeah, because it does show up as a resource. So, clearly they've, they've changed up the, the, the interface. They've changed up the voice commands and things. Which, I like that I'm adding that. I can't harvest any of this crap. What the hell? This is what you build with your multi-tool. Why am I not being able to harvest this? Oh, it's, it's slowly breaking. There it is. Man, it takes a lot. There it goes. Now, I encourage you to make sure you do the harvest. This. That's all I got with some damn rubber. Oh, I feel so broken and just twisted. All right. Can I pick up any of that? Now, I can farm all this stuff, basically. Oh, I, gra I grab some other stuff. I guess it's automatically going to my inventory, maybe? I don't know. Let's grab it up. Now, you're going to need some of this to get going. Oh. Got our first little bad guy. Come on. Come on. Oh, shit. He knows I'm out. Oh my god, this dude's taking a beating. Finally. Anybody else around me? I want to make sure, because... Those dudes are clearly just badasses. They're a lot tougher now. Which they needed to. Oh. That's awesome. Grab me an eyeball. Now you can actually cook these dudes up. Ugh. Just the thought of it, you know. I mean, because really, could you imagine being like on a strange planet? It's like, I wonder if I can eat that. <laughs> that, that thought comes to your mind. We're going to keep breaking this thing down. I wouldn't even pay attention to that meter up there. So they added, like I said, new sounds for the players and the EVA suit systems. They got two new dungeons to Proteus 2, which we're on. Um, they got a new creature, the Snubs, a new boss creature, Cleo. I don't know what that is. I've never seen those. Added passive critters. So there's now actually passive stuff on here, which... There always was before, but they added a new... They, I don't know, they added, I guess smaller creatures, because the other ones were pretty big. Um, redesigned the spaceship you can build. Um, they added fall damage to players, which I don't think I ever had a problem not taking damage when I fell. You know, just me. This desert is just... Ugh, this sucks. I hate starting over in this area. Um, and they added a new art assets to Proteus 2. Uh, new gatherable minerals and objects. New structure installations on Proteus 2, planet, human, and alien. So I don't know what that's up with that. Oh, I gotta get him to follow me. Shit. And you need you need this guy. He, he's very helpful. You can put him on defend. You can put him on auto mine. He can go and get a bunch of stuff for you. It's kind of nice. So stay. I want you to follow G. And what you do is if you want to access his inventory, and this is one thing it's hard to figure out, you go to your multi-tool, 
and then you hit G to open your inventory. And you can actually start st start putting stuff on him. I'll put some of this crap on there I don't need. I'll keep the bandages, put the steel, that. Nope, no, I want the... I need that. That's for damn sure. I don't need the eye. Circuit boards. Wow, we got some circuit boards. So he's full up already. There we go. Let's head out. I hope they didn't weigh him down too much. Did it? Okay. Let's get going. Now the reason, I don't know, I guess one of the reasons why I like this game is because it's it's very graphically intense. I mean, Imperion and Space Engineers have really good graphics. I'm not going to knock them. They're just older, early access games. I hear my feet walking. That's kind of cool. That's a new thing. Now you do have a jump jet as well, just like in No Man's Sky. And it, you know, the more and more I play this, some of the, it's, I don't know who took what. I don't know which came first, the chicken or the egg, if you know what I'm talking about in this. Can I harvest that? Oh, I'll probably have to make a shovel. Wow, this place looks brilliant. Now, I think over in that area is where we built our last base, near that rock. And yeah, there's a giant worm. So just keep that in mind. Oh, just pick up a rock. Keep that in mind. Uh, there's some places you don't want to go because there is a giant landworm on this place. And it's, yeah. Botany. Getting some red berries. Keep giving me the red berries. I don't know why. You can eat them. You can do other things with them, too. Oh, there's just berries on the ground. There's some big-ass berries, too. Why'd they make you sound like R2, man? That's messed up. <laughs> that is so messed up. So I don't know how many of you guys actually played Osiris. Now, when, when I started doing the video, eh, not a lot of people were into it. Um, it didn't do really good. We, Me and um, Jester streamed it together several times, playing co-op. Oh, yeah. Oh, I was going to say, is he dead? He's just kind of playing. What is he playing with? He's playing with one of those guys. Yeah, you can you get a preemptive warming where they pop up. Got some skelepod meat. Look at him. He's just getting all jacked up. I'm probably going to... Nah, screw it. These guys are quite annoying. They don't do too much damage to you. What are you shooting at now? He's dead, man. Come on. I swear, dude. He's just like a child. Now, here's some of the original. Now, these were already in the game that are not really aggressive. I don't know how to describe them, man. They look like giant ostriches. Look at them. I don't think they're aggressive. They used to not be aggressive. You're not going to mess with me, are you, homie? Yeah. They're not aggressive. They're okay. They're friends. I'm not seeing a lot of ore spawns over here, though. That's kind of weird. But I want to say, there's an area where a giant worm comes out. Death worm. It's just, I mean, the thing's freaking massive. It's like playing Dune. This game reminds me of more of Dune than anything. Where's my little buddy at? How in the hell are you not following me? Where the... Where is he at? I mean, seriously. This is awkward. <laughs> My god, man. See, this is what I hate about those guys. They haven't fixed their AI where they're at least halfway smart and know how to follow you, right? Oh, I'm running out of stamina. You get that increased heartbeat when that happens. Holy crap, dude. He's like completely just disappeared off the face of the earth. I'm about ready to say screw him, hippie. I mean, seriously, where the hell is he? Alright, let's go to our little our locator. So you can hit the left mouse button and it clicks through your stuff. Inflatable dome, beacon, spawn position... Osiris personal assistant. Shoney's over here. There, seriously. I guess I got to repair him. Maybe he got damaged in that fight. I don't know. Maybe me shooting him didn't help. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, you're fixed, man. I mean, seriously, dude. Follow me. Oh, are you following? 
God. All right, it's getting dark. We need to find a place to set up camp, but I don't want to set up around. I want to sit near some ores. Because, see, the biggest thing you need in this game is building components, just like any other survival game. And you want to at least be halfway close to it because you don't really have transportation. You can't tame any of this shit. So you're not going to have anything to ride around like you can in Ark and other games. you got to do hoofing. Let's see here. I mean, they've done a lot with the grass. Though. This, there used to not be near as much vegetation on this thing. Let's see if I can gather up any of that. Oh, that's just a rock. I don't care about rock. Are you coming, Slowpoke? God, Slowpoking. I swear. Just don't sprint with him and you'll be alright. So, I guess the, one of the reasons why I wanted to do a video on this game is because they put an update out. And it's been quite a while since they put an update out to this game. So, it makes me think that maybe they're getting back in tune with it. Maybe they've gotten past a lot of their big issues they're trying to get past. I don't know. But, typically, it means that they're still involved and they're still working on the project. I mean, the game came out in mild success, honestly. I mean, it was, it didn't, I mean, it just kind of faded away. It wasn't a fast, as fast of a fadeaway, but it never got as big as, Os as um, Astron Astroneer did. But it did kind of just fade away in its own little spot. Which Astroneer was another good little game. It was just, I don't know. I think, I think people just got tired of the, the cheesiness to it so fast. I mean, I, I, I was one of those people. I bought Astroneer. It's just like with No Man's Sky. You know, I bought into No Man's Sky thinking, hey, this might be perfect for my channel at the time. This might be what I need to boost it. I mean, people might watch it, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then it fell. It just fell right through. Oh, wow. This looks so pretty up here. Look at this. I'm also looking for gas spots now. That's another resource. Ooh, big cliff. That's another resource you need is oxygen and hydrogen and things like that. That's how you make water. That's how you make a lot of the resources you need. But I'm, I, the, the planets look so much better than it used to. I mean, you actually have... Is there a, can I turn up that? No, but I probably can do this. I just completely forgot about it. Bam. Light. <laughs> oh, the light didn't look as good as it used to, though. Maybe because it's not quite dark yet. Are you still back there? Okay, good. I gotta make sure. So this time around, when I build a base, because I didn't... When the last time we played, when Justin and I were playing, we built a base, I wasn't really sure where to do. I didn't know all the stuff. I wouldn't. I was just getting into the game. Because I played the game initially when it first came out, and I just kind of put it to the side because it's just like, uh, you know, it wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be, you know? Let's just turn that off. I'll brighten it up on the editing. It's too hard to see with that right now. Let's see. It's a clear, sp flat spot. A lot of food sources around. I wonder if the trees give you something different now. Let's find out, because... Am I getting anything off of it? Nope. I'm getting crap off of it. What about this one, because it's smaller? No, I'm going right through it, though. Does that tree... If I hit a tree, does it really <laughs> exist? Okay, guess not. Alright, you're right there. Come on. We're going to keep perusing around here, man, because... I wasn't expecting it dark. Now, this is one thing I do love about this game. The night times in this game. I mean, I can say, wow, that flashlight sucks. You used to be able to see, like, way down there. We're down in the crawl crater. Now, this is not a good spot to be, I don't think. But look at that. Look at that view. Let's go. I will try to unequip anything. Can I not unequip anything? Wow, that's awesome. That's just amazing, man. All right, here's your camera. See, this is another thing they added in the third person better camera view. Oh, it's raining. Nice. Too bad you can't drink it. That's pretty cool. Now, we want to build our inflatable, so we're going to go ahead and get that done. Put the light back on. Oh. Is the light running out, maybe? Oh, it's just not that bright. You hear that noise? Yeah, see, shit. We run this way. I told you this was a bad spot. Look how big that thing is. I mean, dune all over again, dude. Yeah, we don't want to beard near the crater. That's just a bad spot. Thank God. I haven't seen. There's another little plant they have. It's like a little pink plant that's blades. You run through it. Whoa. 
Yeah, this is sucks. It's dark as hell right now. Tumbo. I think this is where I built last time. It's not those. You know what? We're just gonna throw down an inflatable right now because we need to. We need shelter, on. Where's my little? Oh crap! Not again. Here he comes. Fixing to say, I was like, dude, right now is not time for you to be leaving. Maybe I should have kept the inflatable on me. All right, so I want the inflatable dome kit. This is gonna be our little portable structure. Our okay, maybe not. Inventory here. All right, so we want to do that. Build. Let's see. Rotate. What the hell is the front to it? There it is, right there. The building to this game is kind of walky. You gotta hold the button, let it confirm it, and then bam. Get yourself a base. Oh, look at that last bit. Okay, now we got a base. Let's go inside of here. You can stay out here, dude. Ugh. Finally. And it's dark in here, really? You got one light. That's it. All right, so here's where I got in trouble for. So this is your decryption station. Now, you find these things, and we have one right now. No, I thought I had a cryptech. Um, are you sure about that? Oh, it's on him. Duh. Oh, my God, it's like pitch black now. Where the hell did you go? Oh, there you are. All right, we're going to get you off of that. Maybe you stay. Go back to that. Have you give me the... Do I, there it is. Unidentified cryptic. You can keep the rest of that crap. Alright, now stay. You stay there and be a good good little fool. Alright, so we'll do this real quick and that's probably going to be it. Alright, so we have one unidentified cryptic. Now you get three chances to do this. This is kind of... This is, it's a neat little like mini game. Alright, so our goal is to get here. So we can turn that like that. Turn that. Turn that. I'll do that. That's going to have to go like that. That's going to have to go like that. That's going to go like that. Like that, like that. So I'm kind of remembering this a little bit. Uh, I did bad. All right, hold on. Let's think about this now. I love puzzle games, but by golly, sometimes it's just annoying. I did that. There we go. Bam. Sweet. See how good I am. Now, by doing this, what did I get? It's supposed to tell me something here. Really? That sucks. This is your save point, by the way. And you can, once you save, you have to wait four minutes. I don't know why. So you can also pack this bad boy up. That's kind of the cool thing. Now let's get into your character and stuff. So here's your item crafting, which I don't understand. I never understood that. I've never used any of these basic tools because I just haven't. Now you have in your backpack, you have your structures over here. Now you have to unlock these. How you unlock these, we'll get to that in a sec. These are utilities. And you have a great deal. Like I said, you have a pretty good amount of stuff. Furniture. I never did build all of these things. I got to, I was getting to the point where I was trying to, and I was trying to learn it. So now, combat. Here's your proficiencies right here. This is they changed this part up too. It's kind of nice. So currently I have four stat points. So I could up any of these I want to. My karma I'm about in the middle right now. You can be evil or good in this game. Don't know what kind of bearing it plays. I never really experienced that part of it. But your engineering, mining, industrial, then science, things like that. So this is your skill web. So you have like your, I guess your engineering side. You've got your combat side, which is your, yeah, you got combat side. You got, this is the engineer, I'm sorry, this is science. So these are kind of how you start begin doing things. So like metallurgy, acquired. I've got fabrication. Now this is because I'm a ranger. If, normally you don't start out with some of these things. Well, you already got computer technology, oh, it's available. The points where they end at, the last bright point is what's available what you have acquired is behind it. So these are all available to get to us. So we start out with basic storage, 
and whatnot. We can learn civil engineering. Unlocks the ability to build essential structures, including habitat. So that's you kind of have you have to delve off into all these areas, small guns, things like that. We automatically earn learn that before. I know as a scientist we had to learn these things in order to make ammo. But you look, and there's not a way to zoom out. So it kind of sucks. Pretty amount of good, pretty good amount of skills out there right now, and that's just kind of what it takes. So you go back into your inventory. And then you have proficiencies, which these enable you to, these basically help you level up and things. This is where you get combat points. As you complete these proficiencies, you'll earn combat points, engineering points, science points. Then up here you have stats. So, mission logs and blueprints. I don't know how we can spend that. Stat points are four. Oh, okay. That's how we do it. Just click on the dot. So, stamina. I definitely want to pump up stamina. Um... I'm just going to do strength, and I'll do stamina twice. We'll leave agility for alone for right now. Now, this is something else that's kind of neat. Mission logs and blueprints. Save as, save it in an inflatable dome. Done that. Okay, build a depository. So this is where you keep up with yourself. Before, they didn't have this, and it's nice. You've got your message log and your blueprints. Don't have any blueprints right now. We should have gotten something for solving that, though, and I'm kind of bummed out we didn't. Is it daytime yet? Because it sucks in here. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, that is so freaking cool looking. Oh, that's neat. Does that put like a... Does that... I think that puts up like a dome around us. Let's see if we can get out of that. I don't know. That's cool. That is really cool. Let's see. Let's... I want to walk up here and see. Oh, we're underwater. That's why. I didn't know water was a thing in this game. Huh. <laughs> so we stumbled into a lake. That's hilarious. It's actually not a bad place to build a base, though, man. That's kind of cool. We're going to pick our dome up, though, eventually if we keep playing this. <laughs> so anyway, guys, that's the update about Osiris. Um, now that it's been a couple of months past, you guys let me know what you think. Do you want to see some more of this game? Would you be interested in start seeing the building of it and everything? Is it worth doing starting another starting a season two for it? You tell me in the comments down below, please. If you like the video, make sure you slap that like like button. Hit the thumbs up, man. If you don't like the video, by all means, feel free to hit the thumbs down on it and tell me you don't like the series. I prefer a comment though. I love chit chatting back and forth with you guys. It's always fun. We have good conversations. But I've been okay. That's great, man. Do you mind? I'm trying to say it out. I'm trying to say goodbye to the folks. You're going to do it again, aren't you? Say it again. That's what I thought. So anyway, I've been Bloodstalker. This has been Osiris, New Dawn. The update, which I'm glad to see they've done. I mean, I'm really excited. It's nice to see them actually putting some more back into this. So, And there's still two other classes they have yet to unleash. So who knows what it's going to bring to us, folks. Till next time, peace out, y'all.